In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to connect Azure Blob Storage from the Denodo platform. There are two ways to connect. One is using the custom wrapper provided by Denodo, and the other is using the OAuth authentication mechanism. Before we start, let's take a look at the files we stored in the Azure Blob Storage. KB Articles 39571 is the container where we have stored two files. One is a Parquet file for which we used a Denodo custom wrapper, and another is a comma-separated file connected from Denodo using the delimited file connector and OAuth credentials. First, let us see about connecting to Azure Blob Storage using the custom wrapper, which is available in the Denodo support site. To download this custom wrapper, you need to have valid support site credentials. In addition to that, if you were doing a POC slash free trial or holding a marketplace subscription on AWS or Azure, you can still sign up for support using the URL provided by the marketplace offering. To get to the custom wrapper, please do the following steps. Go to the support.denodo.com website. Under the downloads tab, Click on Denodo Connects. Once you are on the Denodo Connects page, search for Denodo Distributed File System Custom Wrapper. The Denodo Distributed File System Custom Wrapper distribution contains five Denodo wrappers capable of reading files in several formats from HDFS, Amazon S3, Azure Data Lake Storage, Azure Blob Storage, Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 and Google Cloud Storage. The supported file formats are delimited text files, sequence files, map files, Avro files, and Parquet files. It also contains a custom wrapper to retrieve file information from the distributed file system and display it in a relational way. Click the download icon next to the wrapper name. Now the wrapper is being downloaded. Unzip the file to have the jars extracted. After the wrapper is downloaded and extracted, we need to import this wrapper into the Virtual Data Port Administration Tool. Open the Virtual Data Port Administration Tool, click on the File menu, select the option Extension Management. A new window is opened. In this window, click on the Import button to import the downloaded custom wrapper. Now, browse to the folder location where you have the jars of the Denodo Distributed File System custom wrapper present and click on the Import button. Please note that the wrapper has three jar files present in the dist folder. Select the jar name Denodo-HDFS-Custom Wrapper dash seven dot o dash two zero one nine zero eight two nine dash jar dash with dash dependencies make sure to select the correct jar file in order to use the complete features of the custom wrapper click ok to import the jar file into the virtual data port administration tool Once the jar file is successfully imported, you will get an alert displaying the new elements imported into the virtual data port server. The next step is to create a data source for connecting to Azure Blob Storage. Right-click on the Elements tree, select New, Data Source, and Custom Option. A new tab is opened. Provide a name for the custom data source. Next you need to select the class name. Before doing that, make sure to check the box Select Jars. In the list, select Denodo-HDFS-CustomWrapper-7.0 option. As you select that, you can now see the class name parameter filled with values. Now click the drop-down option to view the list of classes for the custom jar. You can choose the appropriate class depending upon the file type in the list below. As we are using a Parquet file for this demo, select the following class from the list. com.denodo.connecthadoop 
dot hdfs dot wrapper dot hdfs parquet file wrapper. Now we need to create a base view to introspect the data from the blob storage. To do that, click on the create base view button on the top right side of the data source tab. A new window is presented. Provide the file system URI value. This is the URI which has the connection details of Azure Blob Storage. URI will be in the format WASB colon forward slash forward slash container name backslash at symbol account name dot blob dot core dot windows dot net or WASBS colon forward slash forward slash for SSL encrypted HTTPS access. WASB or Windows Azure Storage Blob is the file system implemented as an extension built on top of the HDFS API. Provide the path of the Parquet file that you want to access from the Azure Blob Storage. Please note these fields are mandatory. Now we need to provide a configuration file that overrides the default core site parameters file. This file contains the credentials and the custom options that are needed to connect and introspect the Azure Blob Storage. Here is the sample core-site.xml file which you can use to create a custom file and replace the relevant access credentials. To know more about this core-site.xml file, and details regarding the other optional parameters, refer to the official documentation that comes along with the Denodo Distributed File System Custom Wrapper Downloaded Folder. In the drop-down next to Custom Core-Site.xml file, select the option Local. Then click on the Configure button. In the new window, Browse to the folder location where the custom core-site.xml file resides. Once you have selected the file, click OK. Now you can see the folder path with the file name displayed below the parameter custom core-site.xml file. Click OK to create and see the schema of the base view. Then rename the base view and save it. Next, let us see if we can successfully view the data by executing the base view. In order to do that, click on the execution panel on the top right side of the base view. In the execution tab at the bottom, click on the execute button on the right. As the results are received, you can see them being displayed in the output tab. Thus, we have successfully connected to the Azure Blob Storage from the Denodo platform using the Denodo Distributed File System Custom Wrapper. Alternatively, let us see how to connect Azure Blob Storage using the OAuth 2.0 authentication mechanism. There are some prerequisites, like getting the storage account name, container name, and the file name that you want to read from Azure Blob. You can get these as well as OAuth related credentials by following the steps elaborated in the Knowledge Base article. You can find the link for this article in the details section of this YouTube video. Once the prerequisites are ready, the final HTTP URL should be something like this. Now let's see how we can connect to Azure Blob Storage using the OAuth credentials obtained. As we are using a CSV file for this demo, we will create a delimited file data source. To create it, right-click on the Elements tree, select New, Data Source, and then Delimited File option. In the Data Source Configuration window, provide a name for the delimited file data source. For the data route, Choose HTTP Client from the list by clicking the drop-down option. Now, we need to configure the properties for the data route. You can do this by clicking on the Configure button. A new window with several tabs to set up the HTTP connection appears. Enter the URL to access the Azure Blob Storage and choose the Get method. 
The URL usually follows the following format. Azure Blob Storage Account Name, followed by blob.core.windows.net, slash the container name, slash the file name that is stored in the Azure Blob Storage. Now, we need to provide the authentication details for our connection. Go to the Authentication tab and choose OAuth 2.0 Authentication from the first dropdown. Leave the Authentication Grant parameter as it is. Provide the client identifier and client secret corresponding to the Azure Blob Storage, which is created as part of the prerequisites. Choose the request signing method as URL query parameter parentheses quotation mark access underscore token quotation mark parentheses. Then click on launch the OAuth 2.0 credential wizard to help you obtain these credentials. To get the OAuth 2.0 credentials from the Azure Blob Storage. Once you click on it, the OAuth 2.0 credentials wizard appears. Provide the token endpoint URL and the authorization server URL, which you can find in the endpoint section of the app you registered in Azure Blob Storage. Now click on Generate the Authorization URL option to generate the authorization URL based on the above inputs. Now you can find a new link with an option, Open URL. Use this link to get the response URL that contains the OAuth credentials. Click on Open URL and you will be redirected to the Microsoft sign-in page where you need to provide your registered Microsoft account details. Please note that to access this page, you must be an Azure Active Directory user. After signing into the Microsoft account, copy the response URL and paste it in the OAuth 2.0 credential wizard. Click on Obtain the OAuth 2.0 credentials option and click OK to store the credentials. Now the access token and the refresh token that creates the connection between the Denodo platform and the Azure Blob Storage is obtained. Click Test Connection to validate the connection. Now click OK to go back to the data source configuration. As we are retrieving the data from a CSV file, Set the column delimiter as comma, check the header option, and save the data source. The next step is to create a base view and introspect the schema of the data that is stored in the Azure Blob Storage. To do that, click on the Create Base View button on the top right side of the Data Source tab. You can see the schema of the base view is introspected in the Virtual Data Port Administration tool. Rename the base view and save it. Next, let's see if we can successfully view the data by executing the base view. In order to do that, click on the execution panel on the top right side of the base view. In the execution tab at the bottom, click on the execute button on the right. As the results are received, you can see them being displayed in the output tab. Thus, we have successfully connected to the Azure Blob Storage from the Denodo platform using the OAuth 2.0 authentication. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you learned about different ways of connecting to the Azure Blob Storage from the Denodo platform.